What's up everybody, welcome to another installation from Airsoft Checker YouTube videos, YouTube channel, website, um, airsoftpicker.net affiliate, airsoftpicker.net troubleshoot guide, um, all the above. Um, so basically today, just gonna do a quick little overview about some batteries and uh, how to read voltages on them. I got a lot of people online being like, um, oh, my battery keeps dying, but the charger says it's uh, full or the charger keeps blinking and I'm not sure what that means or some sort of situation where basically the battery isn't just functioning with the gun. And um, most of the time when it comes to helping those people, I always tell them to use a voltmeter and basically just hook it up to the battery and see what it says. So I got a couple examples here. I got a uh, 7.4, this is a Titan Power battery. And then I got a uh, generic Matrix battery. This is a um, an 11.1, 1800 milliamp. Uh, so the way I normally test batteries is I usually just use a voltmeter. It, it seems to be the easiest. Um, you can buy like little tools from EVIC, like little uh, meters that plug into the balance port and it'll tell you statistics about that. Uh, but it's always good to have a voltmeter on hand because you can use this for more than just airsoft. You can use this for literally anything. So the way I normally do it is I just get some forceps to hold the battery plug and then just put the red with the red, the black with the black. And since this is a 7.4, we're getting 6.92 volts, which for a fully charged 7.4, you should be getting around 8. Uh, 8.4 volts because it should be a two cell battery 4.2 volts per cell that would be a fully charged battery now with the 11 one do the same thing make sure to do the red with the red black with the black and this is getting 11 point uh, we just had it right here 11 point 17 volts which is also going to be low. I haven't charged these batteries. I'm just using them as an example. But for a three cell battery, if you're doing 4.2 volts per cell, which is the maximum, uh, you should be getting 12.6 volts for a fully charged battery. So let's say you plug your battery in to the charger. Charger says it's full. You unplug the battery. You plug it into the gun. It doesn't work. You do the voltmeter test or you do any test with any sort of uh, balance connection or even there's devices that you can plug it in and it'll tell you uh, what the the voltage is. Um, you should be getting 12.6 volts on a fully charged battery. If you get something like 4.2 volts only, then that means two cells are dead. If you're getting 8.4 on an 11.1, then pretty much, you know, it's one cell's dead. Uh, same goes for the 7.4. Um, you can also do amp calculations, um, but it involves a formula. Uh, I normally just like buying a simple inline reader for RC cars, and you can plug it between the battery and the gun, shoot the gun, and it will tell you how many amps your gun is drawing. Normally that's good if you're trying to upgrade your gun because you can determine whether or not an 11.1 or a 7.4 might be the battery that you need because some guns might draw more amps than others. It could also tell you if there's issues with overdrawing amps. Like, for example, if your motor on your gun gets way too hot, uh, you can plug that amp reader in and see how many amps it's actually drawing, and then you can reshim it or tune the gun from there. But this is just a little overview uh, to show you how to check your batteries if you are encountering some uh, voltage issues or battery issues and you're not sure how to pinpoint whether it's the battery or the charger or maybe even the gun um, but hopefully this helps you and we're for sure going to be dropping more content check out the airsoftpicker.net website i'll put a link down below um, i'm working on blogs for that and the blogs are more uh, detailed technical overviews of products and stuff like that so hope you guys learn some things hope you guys teach me some things you know i always want to see comments down in the comment section uh, but I appreciate your time and see you on the next one.